Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. Today we have a suggestion video. Uh, today's suggestion was made by Tammy Whitson about two weeks ago. Um, the comment says, at Rusty Center 5. Uh, hmm. NASCAR Jackson Storm, Pixar Fest Mater, and Ramon. So that is who I'm going to be reviewing today. If you do have a suggestion for me, leave it in the comment section below. You can suggest it on any video that I've ever made. Um, yeah, so any video that I've made, you can just leave it in the comment section below, and I will most likely respond to it, um, within, like, maybe an hour or so, and I will tell you whether I have that car or not. Uh, the only two things I'd like to tell you about this is that, um, first off, please don't suggest anything that has been reviewed in 2021 on my channel, um, because, you know, I just recently reviewed it in 2021. So, you know, if you want to watch a review of the car, it's probably on my channel. And um, the other thing is that I started collecting in 2017. So I mostly have cars that were made in 2017 and passed in like 2017, 2018, 2019, 2020, 2021. And uh, don't also, you can't suggest cars from 2022 because... One, I don't have any yet, and two, once I get those cars, I'm going to be reviewing them, like, right away. So, um, yeah. Anyway, today we do have the NASCAR Jackson Storm, uh, Pixar Fest Mater, and Pixar Fest Ramon. These two from 2020, this guy's from 2021. Um, and Tammy Whitson made this suggestion in 2021, so that's why I am fulfilling this suggestion, because I just, uh came up with these rules today um but yeah since you did make this um suggestion two weeks ago in 2021 i will review it um and i will fulfill the suggestion so without further ado let's get into it So let's start off with, um, I don't know which one I should start off with. I guess let's just go from how I have him here from left to right. I'm going to start off with Jackson Storm's uh, Pit Stop Barrier right here. It just, it's pretty simple. It just says Igniter 2.0 with the S behind the 2.0. What's this? It's a little plastic thing right there. Nothing on the back. It's just a plastic piece. Plastic piece. Thank you very much my uh voice i guess does not want to work with me today but anyway we do have this jackson storm here so let's take a look at him piston cup champion sticker right there now this is what we need on the regular jackson storm so mattel has shown that they can you know they can make this so if they want some money maybe they should put it on a regular jackson storm and then you know people will want to buy it just because of that one variation and addition on there and it will look cool as well so we got igniter in the back the gray uh, like silverish rims with the next gen light your tires and blue text on the next gen tires right there his continuing sponsors are combustor carbon cyber and synergy we got the nice s logo and the netting because nascar racers like real life they actually have the nets on their windows uh just in case of anything what was that something just fell out of a bag on my floor uh what, what is this uh, it, it appears it is a remote control car box that just fell interesting but yeah same tire over here um here is the hood as well it's a pretty cool car Igniter and the S right back there. 2.0 right there. Igniter right there. Um, igniter, same thing on this side. 
And here is the annoying green little circle that I did not like. And apparently this green circle, I might be mistaken, but it is to show that um, like the, the fuel that, you, that they're using is ethanol. I think that's what it's called. Um, I, I don't know. I, I think I was watching a review of one of these cars. I think it was one of Disney Docket's reviews. And he said something like that. And then I'm like, oh, that makes sense. Anyway, here is the back right here. We have the Piston of Champion right there. Igniter 2.0. No rookie stripes because he is not a rookie anymore. Because it appears that this NASCAR series takes place um, around like maybe a couple years after Cars 3 happens. So um, I believe that Cars 3 happened um, in both 2015 and 2016. Um, yes, yeah, so I'm, I'm just going to put this on my little stand. Actually, never mind. Let's just leave him down here in front of Cartney Carsper. Next, let's take a look at Ramon. Um, yeah, I don't know how I'm going to do this because this Ramon is very, very reflective. And I don't want to give off any face reveals at the moment. So what I will do is cover my face with my notebook. Or no, my laptop. And yeah, try to review him like that. Never mind, that's not going to work. Whatever, I'm just going to review him. Face reveal, whatever. Hopefully my face is not revealed. I'm going to cover my eyes. So you guys don't see my eyes. But yeah, here's this Ramon. Um, oh, okay. I guess there's no reflection at the moment. We got Pixar on the hood. Um, we got his little spray gun right over here. On the side it says Pixar and the little Luxo ball and Luxo lamp with a nice flame job right there. He does have the um, his regular uh, tires and rims that say low and slow. The back on his license plate also says low and slow right there, Carburetor County. Um, I believe that this is a 155 scale, this is a 155 scale die cast, yeah. Made by Mattel, custom painters, no paper stickers, and he's made in Thailand, okay. Uh, Ramon also is a Chevy Impala, for those who did not know. Here he is. Oh, this is a really nice car. It's been a while since I've actually taken a look at him in like in detail. In fact, I, I think it's been over a year. Yeah. Oh, we got a nice pinstriping um, on the back right there. And here's something that like people always point out. Um, one person who always I always uh, hear him point this out. The uh, right. Why did I put him down? Um, right here in the back, right? There, like, Ramon just has his logo right in there. He's always saying that Ty uh, is always, t 2 is Ty, he's always saying that he wants to, like, get a Ramon and open it just so that he can see the inside. Like, what is that? And I, I would be all for it because I'm curious as well. What, like, what does it look like on the inside of that Ramon? Maybe, um, maybe somebody like Jim Scavenger, um, if, if he's watching this, maybe you could, whenever you're like making a custom of a Ramon, maybe you could like, when you open it, you could take a picture of what that is inside um, while you're like painting the car and you know how, I think how he makes his cars, I think he um, he actually drill, drills out the rivets and then um, yeah, so that he can get the like the actual body of the car and paint it like that. I think that's how he does it. I'm not 100% sure. Um, but yeah, next up we have Mater right here. And uh, Jim Scavenger, I I'm sorry if I just uh, told any of your secrets, but I'm not 100% sure how he does it. That's the, for me, that's the most logical way to do it by drilling out the rivets and, um, and doing it like that. So I'm not sure how he does it, but that could be one way. Now I've actually tried to do that myself, drill out the rivets, it's pretty hard to do. Anyway, Pixar, Luxo Ball and Luxo Lamp. There is a Luxo Ball on the hood right there. We got Mater and his book teeth right there. This is also a uh, 155 scale die cast made by Mattel, custom painted with no paper stickers. And this Mater is actually blue. So it's basically a, another metallic um, brand new Mater, but now with Pixar logos on it. Now, okay, the one thing that's always like kind of weird about this Mater, it, it's honestly kind of creepy. 
um, just the bottom teeth right here because I've never seen Mater with those bottom teeth. Now, I do believe I have a, yeah, this Cars 3 Mater right here, right? Um, so, like, if you, yeah, this one's really chipped, wow. But, um, if you just compare these two real quickly, you, you can see the bottom teeth on this one, and on this one, you can barely see it down there. So, just, like, just how they outlined it and how they made it look more, um, like, seeable, it, it, it really just looks creepy. We, I've, I've never seen Mater with uh, teeth, teeth on the bottom before. Anyway, I'm not sure if I said this, but Jackson Storm is also a 155 sale diecast made by Mattel Custom Painted with no paper stickers, and I think he's made in Vietnam. Yeah, he's from Vietnam. So these two are from Thailand, he's from Vietnam. But anyway, let me go ahead and grab the turntable so we can get a little 360 view of these three cars. One by one, starting with Jackson, then Ramon, and then Mater. Now, before we go, I just realized that there's one thing I did not point out with Mater, um, that on the back, he does have the yellow and black uh, hazard stripes with his A113 license plate right there. Oh, he also has a gray um, tow, tow cable mechanism back there when usually it's brown. But anyway, I hope that you guys all enjoyed this suggestion review. Thank you, Teddy Whitson, for your suggestion. And as I said earlier, if you'd like to uh, suggest a car for me to, if you'd like to suggest a car for me to review, leave it in the comment section of any video or any community post that I have made, and I will most likely review that car for you, unless that car that you um, suggested was from um, 2021, and I've already reviewed it, that car in 2021. So anyway, thank you all for watching. Please comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys tomorrow for another video. This is Rusty's 95.